Okay, Walker, today we're going to activity 1.3, modeling situation with exponential functions. Simony is studying for a big test and is trying to stay awake. He drank a 12-ounce can of Big Buzz energy drink that contains 80 milligrams of caffeine. He is wondering how long the caffeine will stay in his system if the caffeine has a half-life of 5 hours. A half-life is the amount of time it takes a substance to decay to half of its original amount. 1. How much caffeine remains in Simony's system after 5 hours, after 10 hours? Explain the reason. After 5 hours, 40 milligrams of caffeine are left in Simony's system because it takes 5 hours to cut the amount of caffeine in half. After 10 hours, 20 milligrams of caffeine are left because after another 5 hours, half of the previous amount of caffeine are left. 2. Complete the table to determine the amount of caffeine in Simony's system at each time interval using the equation B of X equals 80 times 1 half to the X divided by 5. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to go to Desmos. Want scientific calculator. We're going to do 80 parentheses 1 divided by 2 raised to the x divided by 5. And then it says there, that's okay because we're going to do x equals 0. That's 80. x equals 5. That's 40 x equals 10, that's 20, x equals 15, that's 10, x equals 20, that's 5. Okay, and so the number of half-life cycles, 0 divided by 5 is 0, 5 divided by 5 is 1, 10 divided by 5 is 2, 15 divided by 5 is 3, 20 divided by 5 is 4. All right, go ahead and complete the table. Number three, what is the initial amount of caffeine in the simian system? What is the rate of decay? The initial amount of caffeine is 80 milligrams. The rate of decay is 0 0.5 for every five hours. All right, let's take a look at the next page. Go ahead and mark this page out. Number seven, predict when the caffeine will be completely out of simian system. Does this make sense? Give in what you know about exponential functions. The caffeine will never be completely out of simian system because the amount will continue to divide in half until there is a tr uh, just a trace amount left. 8. Approximately when will the amount of caffeine remaining in simian system be less than 1 milligram? After graphing y equals 80 times parentheses 1 half to the t divided by 5 and y equals 1. So let's go ahead and do that first. So we're going to go to Desmos. Graphing calculator. We're going to graph 80. Parentheses 1 divided by 2. Parentheses raised to the, we have to use x instead of t, x divided by 5, and y equals 1. Now, we want to know when it's less than y equals 1, so when it's below this line. Okay? So, at this point, it's now below the 1 milligram. So, Let's round that to one decimal place, so 31.6. So you determined that the amount of caffeine remaining in the system is less than one milligram after 31.6 hours. Number nine, use the properties of exponents to rewrite your function so that only the variable t is in the exponent. What percent of caffeine remains after each hour? So we have b of t equals 80 times one half to the t divided by five which can be rewritten as 80 times 1 half to the 1 fifth times t, which equals 80 times, let's go ahead and put 1 half to the 1 fifth power. So 1 divided by 2 to the 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.87 to the t power. So there's 87% of the previous amount of caffeine remaining after every hour. All right, number 10. Suppose simian is taking an antibiotic that extends the half-life of caffeine to 8 hours. Write a function b of t that models the amount of caffeine remaining under these new conditions. That's b of t equals 80 times 1 half to the t divided by 8. Complete the table for the new half-life round to the nearest 100. Now we're changing the numbers in the table to 0, 8, 16, 24, 32. 
So let's go ahead and use our calculator. So we're going to go to Desmos, Scientific Calculator. We're going to do 80 times 1 divided by 2 to the x divided by 8. It says error. That's okay. Now let's do x equals 0 is 80. x equals 8 is 40. x equals 16 is 20. x equals 24 is 10. And x equals 32 is 5. Okay. Now the number of half-life cycles, 0 divided by 8 is 0. 8 divided by 8 is 1. 16 divided by 8 is 2. 24 divided by 8 is 3. 32 divided by 8 is 4. All right, go ahead and complete the table. All right, let's take a look at the next page. 12. How, many, how does the half-life of 8 hours rather than 5 hours affect the amount of caffeine remaining in the simian system? The 80 milligrams of caffeine takes longer to leave simian system. 13. Under these new conditions, approximately when will the amount of caffeine remaining in the simian system be less than 1 milligram? After graphing y equals 80, times 1 half to the t divided by 8, and y equals 1. So let's go ahead and do that now. So 80 times 1 divided by 2 raised to the x divided by 8, and y equals 1. And again, we want to find out when it's below 1 milligram. So I'm going to zoom out. We can see at this point right here is when it becomes below. Let's, let's go ahead and round that to one decimal place, so 50.6. So you determine the amount of caffeine remaining in the system is less than one milligram after 50.6 hours. All right. 14. What generalization can you make about the effects of greater or less than lesser half-lives on substances. The greater the half-life time, the longer it will take a substance to decay. Let's take a look at the next page. The student works 1, 2A, 2B, and 2C. All right, let's take a look at the next page. The student works 1A, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F, and 1G. All right, let's take a look at the next page. The student works 1A, 1B, and 3. All right, go ahead and start working on your assignment and have a wonderful Wildcat day.